Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Cape Rugby TV, your favourite rugby uh, show. And of course we focus on club rugby in Western Province. We welcome back some of our popular faces. Morgan Newman, how are you my man? How's it Jeff? How are you doing? Ishmael Dali, how are you Ishmael? Fine, thanks JP, thanks for that intro. Did I say it? JP, very good. Lekker om weer terug te wees. The President of the Western Women's Rugby Football Union, Mr. Thelo Wakefield. Hello, Mr. Wakefield. Good evening, JP. Good evening to all the viewers. Nice to be here. Good evening. Nee, yeah, JP, dit gaan baie goed. Ek is net blij hier dat die weer so mooi hou vir ons. And uh, the general manager of amateur rugby at Western Province Rugby Football Union. Nice to have you here, Mr. Danny Jones. Thank you, JP. Good to be here. Yeah. Everybody was smiling. Everybody was having a good time. Um, it, it was just incredible, the, the, the vibe. It, it really was, and how friendly everybody was. Despite the fact that the home team lost. Despite the fact that the home team lost and the, the, the home team happened to be top of the log. Yeah. It just goes to show what can happen on a derby match. Anyway, we'll catch up with that a little bit later. Let's take a look now at the results in Super League A. Belleville, well they went down to SK Warmers over the weekend, 43-24. Right, folks, we mentioned earlier on about the fact that this week we reached something like 20,000 people um, on the Facebook request to tell us who your club is. We put together a little video of a screenshot of what the Facebook page looks like. Let's take a look and see if your name is up there and which clubs were mentioned. This is going to be fun. Greens, St. George's and the Lulus from Tammy Crock. I think that's a relation. And there you see 19,000 posts were reached by the Cape Rugby TV fan page. 19,000 people saw that post. With the weather that we had, um, obviously the pitch conditions also, also suited the well with the forward play. Amadeus brought it, you guys are of course top of the log at the moment, uh, tough game. Yeah, definitely, I mean, conditional field, hard practice this week, so I mean, Amadeus came on top and just guess it's a bounce of the ball again on the deck. You guys have had a good season so far. What, what's the way forward for you guys now? Uh, this is simple things back to drawing good. Kevin Music Hands, coach of False Bay. Kev, you guys had them in the beginning there. Uh, a little bit tougher than uh, I suppose you maybe expected. I would say tougher than we expected, but I suppose at 23-6, we let ourselves down tremendously. I'm glad to say that twice in a row now we've got bragging rights. We shared the first, but this one we, we've won. And thank you to you. I must just say to you, JP, just to say thank you for the things that you put in. That's because of the fact that these guys heard we were going to be on TV today, that they opgedaagd had to play like their lives depended on and I'm proud to say thank you to you. Your show and the work that you, Mr. H, and Morgs is doing should never be underestimated um, from a union's perspective and from club's perspective. Um, so keep on doing the, the great work that you're doing. Um, you're making a difference in, in, in a lot of people's lives, in communities, in clubs, and I mean, which club could afford is would be on TV. Bob Skinson, you're watching Cape Rugby TV. 